calling Junk Shot Mediocrity. How can I help you today? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a bunch of those in stock, actually. Would you like to get one from us? Hello? What? My voice? <sighs> That's awfully nice of you to say. But yeah, we've got those parts that you're looking for. The S-Type. We've actually got a special going right now. You want to place an order? Sounds good. Thank you very much. I just need a credit card number to hold the order for you. Alba, let me guess. You got another compliment on your voice? Yeah. Seriously. I don't get what the big deal with my voice is anyway. It's getting people to place orders, so lighten up, will you? Yeah, I hear what you're saying, little buddy. It just started getting a little weird when Guy said it. Alba, you've got mail. Right. You're open! Yeah! <clears throat> Ow, you little friggin' brats! You're just as weak as you've ever been, Alba! You gotta be tough! <clears throat> hey, that's my line. How many times do I have to tell you not to play around in here, damn it? Do I need to get a kendo stick of my own, you brat? I'm scared! I guess I should leave right now! Please stop. Kyo, what's that? I'm not sure. Idiots. Wait, whoa, I didn't tell it to send. I didn't just pick up some sort of Trojan or something, did I? Were you watching porn on your watch? Of course not. Mm -hmm. Hello there, Alva. Finally made it back. Hey, welcome back, boss. Yeah, I'm sorry it took me so long to get here. Well, now, look who's here. Wild things are visiting. <laughs> hey, can you do something for me? Sorry to ask, but could you take this package oh, to delivery works? I'd take oh, it myself, but you know how things are. Sure thing. I'm out. You sure don't weigh a lot, Kyo. You guys be careful up there. Hey, hey, it's, it's not safe for you guys. What did I just say? You're gonna get hurt playing around like that. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, you guys. Hey, you, shut your face. Shut up, you bald eagle. Huh? What hmm? did you say? You think those kids would learn not to say that. <laughs> so, how do I get to Delivery Works today? Formulating recommendation. East 241st Street is closed for inspection, and with several buses out of service. Your best bet is going to be the North Terminal. Thanks. Works for me. All in a day's work. This is a request for citizens of the old residential district. Recently, there has been an increase in the clashes among members of the street community. Please report any violence. Also, anyone leaving the island is required by law to obtain permission. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, Alba, huh? Kojiku, what are you doing all the way out here? What do you think I'm doing? I'm working. And you are? I'm always busy. Yeah, right, whatever. Well, if you're delivering something, you're probably on your way to delivery works. Bet you're wearing out your Ow. shoes. Just say hi to Yoshi for me. I say hi so you don't have to again. What's up with that? Lucky dog, you get to see Clara again, don't you? You've got a strange definition of lucky. But isn't that bad? Huh? I couldn't help but notice, but it looks like you're letting your hair grow wild again. Yeah, yeah, I need a haircut. Just don't stare at it. It's kind of embarrassing to me, having someone as professional as you standing around plotting a makeover for me. You actually did a good job with it this time. You shouldn't be so self-conscious. Mr. Kojiku! <laughs> Where are you opening your shop today? I don't trust anyone else with my hair. Well, that's nice. Hmm? <laughs> huh? Okay, I've gotta go. Right, see you later. If you ever want a real haircut, just let me know, okay, Alba? Not gonna happen, dude. <laughs> hey, I forgot. I'll be by later, so say hi to your grandma for me, okay? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Your hair looks like a girl's. You expect us to believe it hurts when you touch it? <laughs> like this? <laughs> Just tell us if it hurts, sissy. Huh? You jerk. You shouldn't treat a girl's hair like that, understand? What did you say? Uh, ow! Hey! Watch it! <laughs> hey, little girl, are you okay? I'm not a girl. <laughs> Well, even after Kojiku found out I was actually a guy, he still took the time to keep the jerks off my back. Kojiku's good like that. Yeah. What's going on, man? Oh my goodness, Alba! Can I help you?
help you today? If you would. And how are things? Well... I can't handle any more, Yoshi-san. What are you talking about? You're young! You can do it! It's been a while since I started taking cooking classes. I wonder if I've gotten any better. Uh, <clears throat> what are you making those noises for? You're so mean to me, Alba! Sylvana, you kind of deceive me again. Oh, no, really. She's not bad, just annoying. You got that right. Yeah, but you meant Clara. It's not like I hate her, but... <laughs> Whoa, that's a really cool brain nuts Jackie I got. I could totally see myself in one of those. Come on, help a buddy out. They sell them in front of the station. Hey man, do you know who you're messing with? We're Bug Bomb. We're the strong left arm of Ribsties. Mind your manners, big mouth. Lame. Huh? What'd you just say? I said you're all totally lame. Ha <laughs> ha It's go time now. What team do you hang with? I don't have a team. <laughs> so you're a no mark. Well, it's open season on No Mark. They won't even ask what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I might. Huh? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Mess with my friend and he'll break your jaw. The Fox Axe Kit can take a great big dump on your day, right? Album? The fox what? Your badass kick attack, buddy. It doesn't really matter if I just give it a name, right? Seriously, though, you did break a guy's jaw with it, right? Whoa, that's Mizuki, the chief of all those badasses in Tri Juice. Uh, uh, huh? uh, no uh, no you shouldn't go picking a fight like that if you're just gonna run away. Lame ass punks. Just like their tag art. Come on, dude. <laughs> you know this kind of stuff happens when you walk around without a mark, don't you? But if you join me in Tri Juice, you won't have any kind of problems anymore. Whatever, man. I'm just not really into that kind of thing, all right? Yeah. I'm just thinking of your safety. Being on a team doesn't hurt. Yeah, maybe. I just don't want to fight all the time, you know? I get it, man. It's kind of a rough life. Hmm? Lately, I'm not really sure how things are going with us, either. Not sure. Really? I thought the Dry Juice guys in Kojiku's gang, the Benny Shigure, were all okay. The Benny Shigure? I guess they're okay nowadays, but we're... well... You're what? The problem's rhyme. Rhyme, huh? I heard it was getting popular again, but I never actually played it, you know? A lot of my guys are starting to get into it. Virtual fighting sounds cool and everything, but it just ends up being a waste of time. Yeah, most games are. And there's also Spirited Away. Hmm? Spirited Away? You had to have heard about that one, right? A whole bunch of guys from Ripsties jump into that game and nobody ever saw them again. Yeah, I have. But that's just some sort of dumb urban legend, isn't it? That story's been going around for ten years. Yeah, well, it just started all over again. Huh? They're disappearing. But one of those guys actually came back after a couple of days. He forgot everything that happened after he was lost and when he came back. Amnesia? Dude, he totally forgot his name. It was like his brain just stopped working. But weren't people saying that the guys who were really behind it were a Ripsies group who were called Morphine? I mean, after all, Morphine isn't anything more than a rumor themselves, right? Maybe, but it's major league trouble. Hey, they huh? said it's over here! Huh? Yeah, hurry up, man! What's the big deal? Huh? It's Rhyme. I don't feel so good. I'm gonna go. Swing by the shop sometime. Sure.
positive crashing cars! Yeah, fine. It's the usual thing. Let's go. What's the matter? Hmm? Crowd got you dizzy? Kind of funny meeting you here. What's up, Awaba? Huh? Virus, trip. It's kind of strange to see you watching a rhyme fight, Alba. So tell us, are you hooked on it, buddy boy? You've got to be kidding me, man. I didn't know it was even here. Yeah? You probably just doubled over for no good reason. That's not what happened, all right? What are you guys here for, anyway? We're keeping an eye on the crowd, of course. Rhyme's getting rough. Fights are getting out of hand. And this just happens to be your turf, doesn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when are you two guys going to stop dressing like each other anyways? It's like you're twins. You know but we're, we're not, not twins, twins, okay? So, how are things going at that junk shop you work at, Alba? Yeah, what was it called? Equality? Mediocrity. Junk shop mediocrity. Mediocrity is a really lousy name for you, given your track record. If you ever decide you want to cut loose again, just give us a call, okay? <laughs> I've gone straight, okay? I know I probably shouldn't say this, but I'd love to see you get on the circuit and fight again. Definitely. We're two of your biggest fans, Aoba. <laughs> Get over, asshole! You're disturbing my peace! <laughs> it's him! Holy shit! It's the Koshima! People are trying to sleep in this neighborhood, God damn it! Stop running! And it's Mr. Wonderful himself. I'm taking your collective ass to jail! And it's time for us to head out. You might want to get moving. Yeah. Bye-bye, Alba. <laughs> oh, yeah! Run, you bastard! <laughs> I swear, that asshole's gonna pop a vein or something if he's not careful. <clears throat> Sorry about... Hey, sorry about that. I was running from this idiot cop and, uh, I, uh... What's up with that guy? I'm home! You stupid bastard! Lock the damn door! How many times do I have to tell you? You'd better lock the front door the next time you leave the house! Oh, did I forget to do it again? I promise I'll be more careful tomorrow. Ugh. That's the same damn thing you said yesterday. If you keep on being that scatterbrained, I'll <laughs> never die in peace! Oh yeah, your sorry butt's home! Jeez, Grandma. Take it easy. Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the food. food. <clears throat> Grandma, this is awesome! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that all you've got, punk? Yeah, it was great. Sure it was. Hey, Grandma. Hmm? What now? I'm sorry about not locking the door. Don't worry about it. Yeah, when you start saying things like you said a little earlier, it makes me worry about you, okay? What do you mean by that? You dying. It's really kind of morbid. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if you die, Grandma... Who else is going to lock up this house when I leave for work every day? <laughs> you meddling idiot! <laughs> hmm. 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 Bearded away? Morphine. I don't want a damn thing to do with any of that. Alba. Hmm? It looks like you downloaded something in that email you got today. Downloaded? Oh, that! I thought you said it was clean. This isn't a virus. You want to look at it? Might as well. Understood. Somebody's hooked on 8-bit games. Hey, don't move the guy yourself. I should play. Play appears to be automatic. Automatic? It looks that way. It's already over? For now, anyway. Well, 
It might be good for killing time. I don't like things to be complicated. Cleaning up. Cleaning up. I know you Cleaning just up. got here, but can Cleaning I get you up. to go out on an express delivery for me, Alba? It'd sure help with this customer. Yeah, just let me know where I'm going. Hey, Mizuki. Yeah. It's around here, isn't it, Ren? That's what the indicator is saying. Hmm. Hola. Hmm? Whoa! <laughs> What's going on? Ren! Are you alright? Ren, what in the hell are you doing here in your online mode? Does that mean... It means we're in a rhyme battlefield right now. What? Incoming, Alba. <laughs> Here. I've been looking forward to it. What's that thing? Our opponent, it seems. Let's fly for the two of us to have a little fun together. Fight. That was never got it. Hang on. How did you know my... Right, name? Sly Blue. Sly what? That's not me. Let's start this. Get ready, Elba. Before, okay? Oh. Ren, log us out right now! I'm trying to, but I don't have access to the logout function here. Knock him off, we're only playing a game! <gasps> no, Ava! Damn it all! That rabbit punch freaking hurt! According to this game, pain is an illusion of the mind. However, any pain you feel shouldn't affect your body. Fine, so why does my jaw hurt? That safety setting appears to be turned off on this level. Huh? There's a possibility that any damage you take in this game will also affect your real body. That's bullshit, man! Running is useless! You start losing! <laughs> Ren, Jubilation. Alba? Just do it. Jubilation set, Ren.
just happened. Master. I'm back at the shop. How the hell did I get back here? Ren, wake up! Are you okay? Self-diagnostic seems okay so far. I just want to make sure that the match we just had didn't mess you up. Part of my database looks like it's been corrupted. That's going to end up being a big problem, Rin. I'll check you out completely when I get home. I'd really appreciate that. The funny thing is, I feel like there's some data missing in my head, too. I remember bits and pieces about us fighting a little while ago, but I don't remember any of the details. It would seem that's where the corruption in my data is, too. Hmm. Well, damn. I can't remember any of it. Just what in the hell is going on with my memory? That might be a moot point, Alba. If the average human male's memory has a value of 100, I would give you a score. So you're gonna jump on my ass about that? Uh, 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 my head's just a little fuzzy, Ren. Alba. Just hang on. I'll get Mr. Haga. Wait up! Uh. Mr. Toei is going to want to hear about this. One of the lab monitors has some footage to show you, Mr. Toei. All right, then. Let's take a look. Well, now... My head... Here, have some water. Uh, thank you. Uh, hey, are you okay? Yeah. But I still owe you, sir. I'm sorry that I ended up losing the package you gave me to deliver. <clears throat> Come on. You need to get out of the shop and go home and rest. But I... I can handle the shop. You take care of yourself. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Man, that really sucked. Seriously, how did that giant rabbit know who I was anyway? It's weird. Fight. Albus Suragaki. Hang on. How did you know my name? Rhyme name, Sly Blue. My rhyme name? I've never even played that stupid game before. You were giving me attack commands like you knew what you were doing. To the untrained eye, you sure look like you have a lot of experience playing it. Mm. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, I still don't get that dumb game, you know? Even after he forced me into it. Alba, is your head feeling any better? Well, no, it's not. The medicine's not working? Mm-hmm. That's why the boss let me leave a little early this afternoon. Hmm. Are you saying it didn't do anything for you? Hmm. I wouldn't say that exactly. It's more like it didn't work in the way that it usually does. All right. Then maybe all we need to do is give you a little more. I will be forever in your debt, Madam Physician. Hmm. I haven't been a doctor in a while. Go ahead and put your feet up until dinner's ready. Mm. Right. I sure caused the boss and grandma a lot of trouble today. Damn. What the hell am I doing now? That day. I said I wasn't going to make her worry about me anymore after the accident. And now this has come up. Hey, Alba. You usually don't call us. Is everything okay over there? Oh, you're not sure whether you played Rhyme or not? Come on. You ought to know the answer to that better than anyone else, right? I've also told you guys, my memories aren't exactly what they should be. Yeah, after that accident you had. Well, I don't remember that. So are you having a problem with the game? Not really. Sorry I went and made you worry about that. It's fine. Just let us know if there's something we can do. Anytime. Another one spirited away. 
I only know I've never played that stupid game before. Hmm? An ad for the newest All May. Huh. Uh, damn! Hey! I almost forgot I was gonna take a look at your data. Hmm. Kinda looks like your reflexes have slowed down a little bit. Sorry to put you through all the trouble. I know the newer models have touchscreen apps and you can just do the maintenance from your watch. <laughs> what are you talking about, Fuzzy? I like doing it manually, okay? And besides, we're done. So now, does anything else feel wrong with you? I'm feeling a little weird, but I can deal with it. <laughs> we did just put another chip in you. Just let me know if it starts feeling more than a little weird, okay? Understood. I didn't want to open you up, buddy. Sorry for that. It's fine, really. Thanks for being my dog. Thanks for being my man. Just keep on putting up with me. And me too. <laughs> Is that going to be your answer for everything from now on? Well, there's always this. <clears throat> I appreciate you five million times more than you can ever know, baby. <laughs> you little goof. <laughs> Sorry, Ren. You just keep on acting the way you have been. Damn. What a day that was. Ow! And it's still hurting. Uninvited. I said I was going to come by here. Hmm. Didn't I, Alba? Uh, all you said was you're coming by soon. So I guess I need to put out another bed? I'd really appreciate it. Damn! Are you familiar with the word freeloader, Kochiko? You ought to be used to it by now, Grandma. But since I have work in the morning, I'm just going to have to slap him and that obnoxious little bird of his around. <laughs> Whatever, man. No kidding! Alba sucks at getting up and getting started! You're full of shit! Right, Ren? <laughs> I wish I could agree with that statement, but I can't. What? Come on, Ren! <laughs> Damn fuzzbutt, you're supposed to have my back on this! Hmm? Huh? What's going on? Grandma wants you to hurry up and take your bath soon. Yeah. You sure do like coming here. Yeah, maybe. Even though that's all you've got to look at? I suppose so. Possibly. But the feeling of being boxed in is what I like. Really? I don't get it at all, but here you go. Damn. I never see you smoke anywhere else. And you know you're not supposed to smoke around here. <laughs> hey. Tell me. Does it still hurt if someone touches your hair? Yeah, I'm not sure why. I mean, nobody else I know has nerves all the way through their hair. It's not that weird. Uh, uh, <laughs> knock it off, man! Uh, uh. Hey, I was just playing. It's fine. I'm alright, Co. 
I know. You were actually pretty tired earlier. Well, yeah, actually... Somebody made you play the game. It came right out of nowhere. I'm out of the shop delivering something, and then my brain gets hijacked and I'm playing rhyme. It was close to your turf, too. I was in that narrow back alley that's up there. I've never heard anything like that. You know what else was funny? There was no Usui and no crowd to see it. What it seems like... Someone was looking for a victim and you stumbled on it. A random fight? I don't know a lot about it yet. But it looks like there are some people who can start battles without Usui or the GM. They can actually play rhyme battles with the safety protocols turned off. And there are people out there who are getting killed as a result. <sighs> I don't like how it works. What works? Alba, you ought to count yourself lucky that you got away that time. But I get the feeling that it's going to happen again. And that's too dangerous. Tell me, are you honestly okay, man? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be fine, Kojiku. Just let me know if something happens. I will, okay? Okay. So, what's going on with Mizuki lately? Huh? Why are you asking what's going on with him? Are you sure? Go ahead. Oh, this is so cool. I'm glad you like it, Mizuki. It's good to know someone does. <sighs> Spirited away. Yeah. He said something that generated a lot of rumors was happening again. Maybe morphine were the guys making it happen. I doubt it. That's what I thought. But Mizuki was really pissed. Not to mention he was sure it was them. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. about that delivery. There's no need to worry about it. It looks like someone was pulling our leg. Huh? But the wise guy actually put down the same address for the sender and the recipient. On top of that, the name didn't match the person living there either. I, I went and gave him a call just in case, but they said they weren't expecting to get anything from anyone. Uh, it's just some moron playing games. It's not like you're losing packages every day anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just get back to work, all right? Right. Working hard, working hard, working well, hard. Well, I gotta step out for a bit, so keep an eye on the shop for me. Okay? We'll do. Working hard, working hard. So, yeah? Here's the thing. If it was a random attack like Kojiku says it was, then why set up a false delivery for it? Why not hit the first guy there? It's sure starting to look more and more like someone out there wanted you in a game to fight you. That would have to be it, right? But I mean, why would they do that? Unknown. <sighs> Damn, that's creepy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> huh? Hey, are you okay? Does he look dead, Ren? No, I'm getting life signs from him. Huh? What? <laughs> Master, I'm glad you're okay. I'm not the one who took a header off the side of the building. And who's this master of yours? Take it easy. You're my master, of course. Uh, uh, <laughs> no way. See, if I was anyone's master, I'd already know about it. I beg to differ, master. My name is Clear. Mm. I brought my master here yesterday, and that's you. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. You're the one who dragged me into the game yesterday. No, that wasn't me, master. However, I did hear your voice. You said destruction and death. Uh, destruction and death. Okay. Uh, hey, that hurts! Ow! You really differ from yesterday, uh, Master. Uh, I actually can't put my finger on it, but your face and voice are a lot messier today. It's almost like you're completely discombobulated or something, Master. Look, let go of my face! Okay. Uh, Damn it! What's your damage, man? Who the hell are you? And take off the mask! Show me who you really are! No way! I can't take it off! Please don't ask me to! Take it off! No! Give it here! No! Please! <laughs> Why, you? Please stop, Master! My butt's already been broken enough today! So 
I guess you didn't do it after all. Fine. Anyway, I'm not your master, Mr. Mask. And I gotta go back to work now. Later. What should I do? Get out of here! Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. There we go. See you later. Huh? What was that about? Alba was worried about me? Yeah, he really was. So, that made me kind of wonder, too. And that's the reason why you came here. Sorry about that. Well, I was also thinking of doing a little haircutting in this neighborhood while I was here. But things have really changed around here lately, huh? It's all those rhyme heads. Jackasses. They don't give a damn whose turf they're screwing around on. Tell me, are any of your guys hooked? Once my guys become rhyme heads, they don't stop. It's always been my policy to let my guys do what they want. I've got a couple who play the game. Okay. It's a fad. All the guys who are playing it'll get bored. And then they'll cool off. I just hope you're right about that, my friend. Watch your guys. Just in case. I will. And you too. Oh, by the way, there's something I've wanted to tell you. Hmm? Huh? This shop of yours, the Black Needle... It's a nice place, actually. <laughs> I have a lot of pride and joy in this tattoo shop. Hey, you want a drink? It's still the middle of the day. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> because you've totally got to try this sake. Works for me. Yeah. You're kidding me. They said a stray cat tore the guts out of a mouse type only. You should be careful, too, Ren. Good afternoon. Now this has a really retro feel. Can I help you find something? It's right here. said a stray cat Coffee. tore the guts Coffee. out of a mouse type only. Coffee. You should be careful too, Ren. Definitely. Huh? Good afternoon. Now this has a really retro feel. Can I help you find something? It's right here. Hmm. I've never seen anyone carry these. So, would you like to buy it? If you're not, or you want to see something like it, I'd be happy to look in our inventory. And I guess that maybe you're not. And so, uh, how will you be paying? Thank you, sir. Please come back again. This city gets pretty busy around sunset. Traffic around the business district is full of people going home. Ripstee's members are all over the place getting into stupid fights and pissing contests over who's on whose turf and whatnot. And of course, there are the Nouveau homeless thanks to building the Platinum Jail. You can hardly see a tree, a bee, or a bird because of all the development. Everyone's just doing what they can to live a good life around here in Midorejima. But that's subject to change, I think. I like how things are right now. Got candy? Maybe I wonder too much about the city changing. I suppose it's because I wonder about me changing with it. Home. Huh? You're the guy from the shop today. You know, 
I have a really hard time understanding complicated data like this. Just what are you? <clears throat> who cares? And just who the hell are you? Honestly, you don't know who I am. Huh? Then let me remind you. Uh, huh? Maybe this will jog your memory. Huh? Fight. Alba Saragaki. You made me play that game. <laughs> you had to love the trick I used to get you there, right? The whole send a package to yourself thing. You do realize that was a pretty dirty trick. Yeah, about that trick. That's exactly what you did to me. The last time we played. How did you win? What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. I'm not. I don't remember. Don't use that as an excuse. You and me. We've got unfinished business. What? What are you talking about? Oh. All right. Then I'll just take it out on him instead. <laughs> oh. Asshole! Let go of my dog! <laughs> then fight me. Got it? <laughs> you might actually be able to play rhyme one-handed, Shane. If you don't want to find out, you better agree to fight. Kindly step away from Master. <sighs> Is this a friend of yours, Master? <sighs> if you're mean to my Master, I won't forgive you. <sighs> Alba! <sighs> so tell me, what were you two doing to him? Kojiku, I saw you had a bunch of shadows on the balcony, so I thought I'd join you. Anyway, who are those weirdos? I'm not like him. And I haven't decided whether this person is my friend or not. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to hear your life story. I'll find out after I'm finished cutting your heads off. Uh, be my guest. Hey, wait! You know what they say about clowns like you. The bigger the sword, the smaller the... well, you know. Hey now, Kojiku! The guy's obviously trying to get under your skin, right? And apparently it worked. Crap. <laughs> Bring it on. Knock it off, you guys! This is my room, not a boxing ring! Those two are quite strong. It's impressive. How can you be so calm like that? Huh? Hey. hey. Guys? Knock it off! All of you, shut your cake holes! Get downstairs! We're not interrupting dinner! And that's final! Of course, everyone stops being hostile when it's time to eat. So dig in already. Man, that smarts. This is awesome. I get to eat with everybody today. Hang on. Why are you here anyway? I heard your voice, Master. Again with that? Why don't you tell me? Why is he calling you Master? I don't know. I just met him. Listen up, punk. What are you doing here? What's your name? You're supposed to introduce yourself first. I don't owe you a damn thing, you lowlife little punk! Then don't ask me, got it? Mm, you son of a bitch! Uh, take it easy! We're not fighting at the table, you guys! This is Kojiku, and this is... I'm clear. And you are... Noise is my name. Yeah? Guys like that really just piss me off. <laughs> What's with your rotten attitude? Nothing. Knock it off, you idiots! Once you're done eating, get out of here! <clears throat> Just try it. It's really good. It's so sweet. Of course it is, moron. They're supposed to be sweet. I didn't expect that. Well, don't force yourself to eat it. Oh. Hmm. Uh... Go ahead and have one, Clear. They're really good, you know? I think I will. 
Two artists came into my shop. Yeah? I really admired the guy's work. And he actually said he liked what he saw. Now that's really cool. <laughs> I might have to cave in and get a little bit of ink from you someday, Mizuki. A million yen will hook you up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, the money back over here. 700 grand. Come on, man, you're it. killing you me. You want the tattoo god? Pay the price. The 
simple gathering from the old residential district is progressing smoothly, sir. And how are the drug treatments working? Very well, sir. Let's see how far we can push this thing, okay? A paradise of love, dreams, and healing. Platinum Jail is Japan's biggest top-class amusement facility. Come to the wonderland that both adults and children can enjoy. <sighs> I guess that's why I really don't remember being as lonely as she said. 
There was something about her warmth and her scent that made me feel better. And now you've gotten so big, Karen, you would be completely crazy. <laughs> so, Graham, you think you could carry me around now? While you're still as strong as a horse? No way! I'm kidding, Grandma. <laughs> huh. Grandma. What now? You're so light. Shut up and walk, Grandma. damn it! Grandma! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> do you need anything? If you do, let me know. Like going to the bathroom or something like that. Don't you even think about it, little mister. You really shouldn't push it, Grandma. You go to bed before I knock your ass out. <laughs> some chairs here. Like he's still alive, right? It's kind of surprising, Doc. I didn't expect to see you with him again since you've run out on him before. I think you've got the wrong person. You're sure of that? Stop it already. What in the hell does he want from me now, Lackey? Huh. We're welcoming the executive director of the Toei Concern, Mr. Tatsuo Toei, to the studio today. We're going to talk about the Entertainment Center Platinum Jail on Midori Jima, and we'll try to get some other questions in. Just do me a favor and ask me easy questions. Oh dear, I wonder what I should start the questions with. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this? I'm more than ready to hit some of the high points about creating Platinum Jail. I'm really excited about getting this off the ground. I've always wanted to give the public the kind of place that perfectly caters to their pleasures. And do you honestly think you're achieving that? I believe so. Perfect pleasure, as I call it, begins with an environment that frees them from worry. A worry-free life creates peace and joy, leading to healthier minds and bodies. There are a lot of people who claim their happiness was a byproduct of the hardships they've faced over time. But I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. It's not like folks like us from the old town are going to be able to play around in this platinum jail he's created. You've hit that right on the head, my dear. Perfect pleasure is the pathway to real happiness. Imagine if we could create environments like that all over. Just think about it. Violence as a concept would disappear forever. Platinum jail is the first step in what I hope is progress toward worldwide peace. Don't you think platinum jail is a good idea, Abba? Not really. If you were going to put me on that television show right now, I would have to say that I actually have a lot of fun living where I am. Honestly? Oh yeah. Things are just... Uh... Hmm? What are you doing up? Are you sure you're okay, Grandma? I, uh, went to take some of the trash out. You should have asked me to take out the trash. You shouldn't push yourself. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. I'm all ready to go. Is everything prepared? We're all set. Fine. Good. I'm gonna get my hands on that thing no matter what. Day. I was really moved by your wonderful words, and it looks like social media is buzzing about it. Oh, please. The pleasure was all mine, gentlemen. I'd be more than happy to come back. Take care. That was amazing, sir. A really nice piece of public relations. 
Of course, they want positive, and I sell them exactly what they want. <sighs> you spoke to the old woman, didn't you? And I got the same answer. <laughs> Understood. Some people won't change so easily. Actually, I should say they can't. medicine seems to be working pretty good on the headaches for now, I guess. Okay. You still look like you're kind of down, but you're not sick. I'm sick of something. That one-eyed jackass from Toei Concern was spouting off about perfect happiness in Platinum Jail. How can you find happiness in a place called jail? Huh? <laughs> okay, dude. What are you doing out here on my balcony so late? Singing the jellyfish song, of course. Huh? So tell me, what's the jellyfish song? My grandfather taught me all kinds of things about jellyfish when I lived with him. So I made up this song. I guess I really don't get it. Master, did you know? It's a known fact that jellyfish are mostly made up of water. Isn't that interesting? Really? I didn't know that. I guess it is interesting. I firmly believe that jellyfish dream when they're asleep. They dream? Yes. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't know that. So what's the umbrella for, Clear? Huh? It just looks like the stars are going to rain down. Hmm? Huh? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, I don't even see any stars out tonight. By the way, Master... Can you stop calling me Master for Pete's sake? But why should I? It just kind of makes me uncomfortable, you know? Just call me by my name, alright? But you are my Master, Master. So I'll just be calling you Master. Is that not okay, Master? I'll learn to live with it, I guess. And if you would, please call me by the name my grandfather gave me, Master. It's clear. Okay. Are you talking about the grandfather who taught you all that stuff about jellyfish? Yes. But he's asleep now. He's asleep. I get it. Master? Hmm? I'm certain you were thinking about what happiness really is, weren't you? Unless I'm mistaken. How did you know that? I heard your voice, Master. Huh? Why do you think everyone wants happiness, but they expect someone else to give it to them? Huh? Everyone's going to die one day. But you know, it just seems really strange that in a short life... People are hungry to be happy. Well, I sure don't understand it, and I'm not sure I will get it either. I suppose people just think that happiness is a part of living the best lives that they can, really. Thing is, no one can really imagine what things are going to be like after they die, so they grab for whatever happiness they can. They can't imagine it? Well, it's not like any of us ever found out. And you kind of have to die to really know. So I suppose people try and leave proof they were alive through things they said and did. They believe that if people remember them, that they'll have some sort of life after they've passed away. If they're remembered, they live? To be honest, I really don't know what makes me or other people happy. You know, I just want to keep on having fun while I'm still alive and not let it get complicated. <sighs> Master, huh? the way you think is wonderful. Uh, You've taught me something, something important that I didn't know, Master. Thanks for teaching me something new. It's really great. And to thank you, I'd like to sing for you again. May I? Yeah, sure. Your singing's nice. It really is. My grandfather always said he was pleased to hear me sing too. I'd like to please you as well, Master. So I'll sing. Right now, nothing would make me happier than to please someone by singing for them. Okay. You wouldn't happen to know any lullabies, would you? Hmm.
Is everything okay? Your hair seems to be showing a lot of wear and tear. Kojaku! It looks like something's wrong at Dry Juice's hideout. Thank you for your hard work. Huh? Kojaku! Alba, get here quick! This can't be good, can it, boss? No. I wonder where Mizuki and the Dry Juice guys are. They wouldn't just pick up and leave. Kojaku! <laughs> Alba, what happened here? It's Mizuki. He's disappeared. I've been trying to get in touch with him since yesterday. No dice. I came to check on him, and I found this here. Morphine erased and retagged everything. They didn't just get spirited away, did they? Where the hell are they? It's not like they just grabbed all their gear and picked a new territory. Oh shit, look at that. Huh? Fancy meeting you here, Alba. What brings you out, anyway? Hey, Alba. Good to see you again. Trip and Virus. What are you guys doing here? Me and the Tripster are actually running things around here. <sighs> Yakuza clowns. <clears throat> Alba, don't tell me you're actually hanging around with these guys. I don't hang with them. And I met Trip and Virus before they joined up anyway. I met the two of them while you were off the island. Actually, the three of us have been pretty close for a while now. That's right. Work's got nothing to do with it. I know there are a lot of jerks who do what we do, but I'm proud to say we've never used violence or broken the law. We're just taking a look around the block like we usually do. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yakuza are still Yakuza. Be as friendly as you want to be, but once you fall in with the mob, it corrupts you all the way down to the bone. Maybe, but think about this for a minute, okay? The difference between the cops and the crooks on the island isn't a whole lot. Am I right? You're a street gang leader yourself, aren't you, Kojaku? I'm sure you have a friend or two who keep the local cops off of your back. It's not like everyone in the police department is in the business of organized crime. There are some honest ones out there, too. Well, it looks like you actually went and made my point for me about what I do. We're your friendly neighborhood Yakuza. <laughs> do you know anything at all about what happened to the guys from Dry Juice? Looks like we're the only ones here, doesn't it? That's right. It's like they all disappeared. Disappeared? We just got here and found all of the dry juice tags had been spray painted over and there wasn't anyone here to ask about it. And what's even weirder is that only the morphine tags are here. Who are morphine? Are you talking about that mythical group that people are talking about? Like it's some kind of monster? That's them. I mean, it could actually be possible that someone did something to the dry juice guys and made it look like morphine carried out the attack. This looks kind of brutal, don't you think? An entire gang just disappears at once? This whole scenario sounds like something you'd read in a strange horror novel. That's what I mean. So what? Yeah, I get it. You've painted a pretty clear picture for us now. We'll give you a buzz if something comes up while we're looking. Thanks for that. The crazy thing is that a lot of our guys are starting to see more things like this happening. Just be careful, Alba. There's a lot going on with this situation that we don't have the complete picture on just yet. I'm sure you don't really give a damn about what happens to anyone in the Ribstees gang. Are you going to do something about it or not? Remember, you're in the middle of my territory and all of this is happening in my city. Like it or not, we both have a common goal here in mind. Finding out who's really behind this. And they can call themselves Morphine or whatever they want to. I don't want them trashing my territory any more than you do. Attracting my attention isn't smart, wouldn't you say? <laughs> anyway, it's time for the two of us to take our leave for now. I promise I'll call you if we find anything at all. Yeah, thanks. Damn, this is some crazy shit. I don't know where to start. It's weird. Huh? You again? They're gonna be starting another one here pretty soon. You'd better think about fighting again. And why should he? You don't give up, do you? Alba said he didn't want to do it anymore. I wasn't talking to you, asshole. What the hell? Don't bother. You better watch what you say, little boy. 
but it's the truth. And you're exhausting all of the goodwill I've got. Whatever. Talking to you really makes me want to put an end to all your little rhyme heads. I don't give a damn. Show me someone who likes you Ripstees creeps, and it'll be the first. Hey, guys! Take it easy, okay? Stupid rib. What kind of an idiot fights with his hands and feet nowadays? That's right. You do. Nobody ever achieved anything by screwing around with some dumbass BR game. You don't know a damn thing. Hey! I guess I can't count on a caveman to talk about anything, can I? You want me to send smoke signals? You think I'm gonna take that from a guy who looks like a giant toilet brush? At least I know how to use the toilet. Is that right? That doesn't explain why you've got a diaper on your head, does it? Okay, I'm done. Sounds good to me. Bye. Are you ready to back up your words with some action? This is really stupid. But I'm in the mood to kick your ass. So I'll crush you. You won't be crushing anything after I get done with you, boy. Come on, man. Why are you letting this guy get under your skin? Sorry, Alba. You want to talk trash about me? Then you better be ready to pay the piper. Whatever. <laughs> Noise! For the love of God, will you take it easy before he tries to cut your head off? I'm not the one who came here looking for a fight, all right? Hey, wait a minute!
him up. Where are you? Thank God it's not her. Morphine's tag art. Another one. What did you do with her? You better tell me where she is, bastard! Stop wasting time. 
over here. I'll have my guy standing by, but she's probably being detained or interrogated. Making a lot of noise probably isn't an option here. Fine. Just us, then. Hm? Oh, this place. Yeah. It actually looks like that game. What game, Master? This one. A character who looks like her gets snatched up by this bat. And then it takes her to a mountain of garbage. Kind of like where we are now, huh? It's probably not a coincidence. Dumbass. All made signals are easy to track down. Shut him down now. Ren. I don't want to be a safety hazard. I'm sorry. Okay. The plan for the dump is up ahead. And the security measures are tight as hell around there. Kinda suspicious, you know? Which way do we go? Straight ahead that way, Master. We found it. I don't see anyone in the plant, guys. Got it. My guys to the east are ready to go if we need them. We're set on the west side. And I'll be backing you guys up from here. It's time. Hmm. We already have company. <laughs> hey, noise. Where are they keeping her? Checking on that now. <laughs> Got more on the way. Watch it. That's not what I wanted to hear right now. Come on. Isn't there something you can do, pincushion? <laughs> As full-fledged members of Morphine, old buddy. <laughs> You're Morphine now? That's right. None of the other ribs even matter anymore. And Morphine is all ready to take their place as gods. No, you can't be serious, Mizuki. I definitely am. Dry Juice will be the vanguard of Morphine and will hold the city's power. <laughs> Mizuki, knock it off. Do you even hear what the hell you're saying? Oh, I heard it a long time before I said it. I gave you an invitation to join Dry Juice and you turned me down. That was pretty messed up, dude. Look, man, I'll give you another chance if you want it. And all you have to do is join us. It's as simple as becoming a new member of Dry Juice. <clears throat> it's not happening, man. Oh, really? I see. That's a shame. 
What if I sweeten up the pot a little bit? Huh? Uh, uh, How about that? Why don't we ask your dear old grandmother what she thinks of your decision? Mizuki, don't do it, man! You want me to stop messing with Gram Gram? Join Dry Juice. Just let her go, okay? You better start taking this seriously. Uh, I can always stuff her head and mount it. Uh, One quick slash and no more granny. Hey! I could forgive you for not taking me up on my offer. But when you turned me down a second time, Alba, you made sure she died. No. That's not the Mizuki I know. He's like a brother to me. He isn't a shit talker and he doesn't play life and death games with people like that. Mizuki. Juice. I wanted all of us to be like a big family. You know how it is. Of course I do. That's the reason why Dry Juice became the best Ripstees team going and you know it. Yeah, but that just isn't enough anymore. Once Rhyme took off, it was like Ripstees didn't matter. My guys all started playing Rhyme and our family got shot all to hell. <clears throat> I tried thinking about how to keep us together, you know, but they kept on playing Rhyme. Then someone showed up a while back saying he was a member of Morphine. What did he say? The guy said that since Dry Juice was the number one Ripsy's team, we should go ahead and join Morphine. And we all know the legend of Morphine, right? And I thought my guys would never want to be Rhymeheads. It's still hard for me to believe you joined Morphine. I totally screwed it up, Alba. The team I ended up becoming a part of isn't the team I thought they were. Help me, Alba! Help me, please! Start taking this seriously. 
Synchronization complete. How was Alba's performance? <laughs> His powers manifest themselves when he gets angry or upset. It's a match for our data set, sir. I've called the police in the old residential district and asked for their assistance in apprehending him, but it goes without saying that... <clears throat> yes, I know. But let's try this. It's obvious to me they're going to come here. I could actually derive a little amusement from monitoring their progress. guys from his gang have been laid up in the hospital since we all got them admitted. None of them have gotten up yet, son. All right. I should be able to... <clears throat> oh, really? Take your drugs. <clears throat> the rest of us are done with dinner, so feel free to have what's left here. Right. Are you okay after all that, Grandma? Now look, boy. You ended up out on your feet instead of me. Why don't you take care of yourself for a change? Hey, Alba. Unless you want Clear to eat your share of dinner, you better move. Hmm? I wouldn't do something mean and underhanded like that to you, Master. Yeah, well, the beanpole is probably scoping the leftovers, too. Huh? Oh, I'm not that thin, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry you ended up spending all that time and worrying about me. Okay. But, Grandma, I gotta know. Yeah? What's the reason Mizuki did all that? I wish it was simple. I suppose it's about time I should stop and tell you boys everything about this sordid little tale. Many people have put a lot of value on this information. I might actually be putting your lives in danger by telling you all of this. However, since they all know who you are, it might help you. And I need all of you to listen to this, all right? I really should answer why Mizuki was doing what he was doing. 
He was under a form of mind control. And it was morphine? Exactly. But my guess is morphine isn't just some legendary gamer gang like you think it is. Hmm? What? I'd bet my last 500 yen that they're probably getting financial and computer network backing from the Doe concern. Wait a sec. Isn't he that old dude who bought the island and started building that platinum jail complex? But Grandma, why would that connect him with morphine? And what was it they wanted from you? A long time ago, I took myself and my doctorate degree to Toei and got a job in one of his labs. Of course, all this happened a good 20 years ago, at least. So, Grandma, you actually worked in research for that guy, Toei? I was researching the human brain in a mainland laboratory. When I first started, I had no idea that the lab and Toei were even connected. I can only imagine what my answer might have been if I actually knew. There's a word now for what I was doing back then. Neuroplasticity, the notion that the brain could take on a variety of tasks. Specifically, could restructuring and repurposing take place after brain death? We investigated the effects of drugs, nutritional therapies, and anything that makes brains work differently. All of this had the ultimate goal of providing a group of benefits to people who had suffered any kind of brain damage. That's what I was led to believe. I soon found out they weren't being truthful with me. Huh? But this is what he was doing with the research. He was trying to find every avenue he could into people's minds and then control them for his uses. Turned out everything I worked on in that lab was focused on nothing but that purpose. Now and then there were still times when I would question what was going on. One doubt led to another and a lot more. A little bit of digging netted a seemingly unpublished paper. The author proposed a theory on how to completely replace someone's consciousness. I read it word for word, and it's like every bit of my energy was leeching out of my body. I wasn't helping anyone. I was teaching that slime how to hurt them. I had died inside from the sheer waste of it all. I stopped researching, quit the lab, and did what I could to start piecing my life back together. I decided that the best way to not have any contact with Toei would be to restart my life on this island and hope for a quieter one. However, in spite of all that, someone tracked me down and asked me to come back. <gasps> Obviously, I decided not to. I wasn't going to do anything for Toei again, and I meant it. So they ended up using morphine to control Mizuki and coerce me into coming back to them. Okay, so the thing they wanted was to get you working for Toei again. Well, yes. Hmm. They look like a corporation, but they operate like gangsters. Spoken from personal experience. What's that? Hey, knock it off, you guys. This isn't the time. <clears throat> anyway, mind control. Mizuki and the others. How did they manage to do that to all those guys? Think about it. Toei was able to brainwash them. Brainwashing? Well, another piece of the puzzle is all of these young people who have been reported missing on the island, right? Plus, we've been seeing more people on the streets who look like they've been on a drug bender of some kind. And since I actually helped out with the research, I can only assume that they're responsible for what's going on. They're tearing those kids' minds apart and then putting them back in the city like they're the mice in the alleys or a giant maze. They might be observing them or they might be using the city to offload failed experiments. You're kidding. That's messed up if you ask me. What do you mean by failed experiments? Meaning that Toei couldn't control them or fix them after they broke them. What I mean is they're making invalids out of those kids and dumping them. <clears throat> so what happens to the successful ones? My guess is they hang on to them and perform more experiments. Maybe even replacing someone's innate consciousness <clears throat> with something that'll be completely under their control. And what in the hell does Toei plan on doing with that kind of research exactly? And what's gonna happen to the island? Kind of convenient, if you ask me. Take control of the minds of everyone on the island. Toei gets to crown himself as king over an island full of subjects who cater to his every command and whim. I'm not seeing any problems. Let's move this forward. About the dissidents. Are you sure you just want to let them come after us like this? How much time does it take for someone to reach their greatest potential, and how are you sure they've reached it? Can you tell me? I can't. People display far greater powers of ingenuity, physical endurance, and mental strength when they're at a disadvantage. Should we extend an invitation to Alba Saragaki while we're at it, sir? Of course not. Like I said, the greater the hindrance, the more someone reaches for their inner strengths. And if he ends up perfecting his little mind control technique, then he can pawn it off to foreign governments when it's ready to sell. Damn it. That sounds just like a rich guy's idea. <laughs> for some reason, he's been sitting on this for a while now. 
But something has to have happened to make him want to leave all these clues like this. The street kids first, and then everyone on the island become his puppets. Hmm. No way. Mindless slavery at the hands of some rich bastard? We can't let it happen. Hmm. We have to stop his plan. Master? We can't. We can't just sit here and let it happen. Then we better bust into Platinum Jail as soon as we can. It might as well be tomorrow. I'll be by your side, Master. Right, I'm done. <coughs> You've endured my prattling long enough. And I'm sure you're all getting tired now. You probably won't get a lot, but you should definitely try to get some sleep tonight. <sighs> I'm truly sorry for getting you all mixed up in this mess tonight. Miss Ty, you shouldn't. Master's grandma. Right. Now get out of here and get some shut-eye. Let me know right away if something happens. Remember your promise to me. I didn't volunteer. You're gonna pay me back for this. Master, if you call for me, I shall definitely be there. Anytime, anyplace. Bye. Man, those guys sure eat a lot. I guess no one can resist the taste of home-cooked meals like yours, Grandma. Alba, there was something else about this I needed to tell you about. Yeah, that's the reason you sent everyone home, right? Hmm. You can tell me anything, Grandma. You have the ability to project your mind and consciousness into the minds of other people when you want to. Uh. We referred to that power as scrap back when I worked at the lab. What's that? You trigger your scrap power over other people by talking. Uh. When you say something with emotion in your voice, people do whatever you tell them to. You've probably had a few of those experiences already. Well, yeah. Your voice has the ability to draw people toward you. If you use that power consciously, you can actually take over their thoughts from them. In essence, making them your puppets, if you want. All you have to do to know more about a person or make them have deeper feelings for you is to plant your own consciousness in their mind. They're an open book to you if you feel like doing the reading. <laughs> However, there is a risk in just taking over someone's mind like that. You will come into contact with that person's subconscious, unguarded by the barriers provided by their physical body. That moment is crucial, because at that point, you can actually destroy that person's unconscious mind and total self with whatever you do or say. Destroy? No! So all that dreamscape crap, the rhyme trash talk I saw was actually me being inside of Mizuki's head? I wouldn't doubt it. Now wait. I talked to Mizuki. He was normal. Completely normal. No, wait. Mizuki told me how he had been suffering recently. He was upset about the fall of Ripstees and dry juice as its best team. You were touching his thought stream, his unconscious mind uncensored by his controls. He didn't have a conscious mind to filter those thoughts, so you heard the purest truth from him. How did you reply to that? I was too preoccupied with myself, so I couldn't give him an answer. And then Mizuki... He started to scream in pain, and I couldn't... I couldn't do a thing to help him. Alba... You're probably not going to like hearing this. There's a reason Mizuki hasn't gotten up. And you're probably that reason. <clears throat> hey, thanks for earlier. What do you want, Kojiku? You know what I want. Tell me, what do you intend to do with Alba? I don't have a reason to share that with you. How about this? I make it so you can't talk anymore. <laughs> It must be nice to be ignorant like you are. What? He's good at deception, isn't he? Huh? You went into Mizuki's mind without a second thought. And then you dragged the truth out of him and left him there to deal with it. No way. You're telling me I destroyed Mizuki's mind? I'd never want to do that. Alba, depending on how you use your power, you can reshape people or shatter them. That's why you need to realize what you're capable of. I knew I'd have to tell you all about this someday, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. Until now, I've been there for you. I've been able to protect you with this out-of-the-way home, kind of like a gilded cage. 
But I can't protect you anymore. All of these lies would actually cause you to lose control. I honestly fear the day that Toei decides to come looking for you. And heaven knows how long it'll take him to get what he wants from you, Alba. I was why. The reason why they went and kidnapped you. Why Mizuki's in the hospital right now. It's my fault. All of it. Destruction and death. I was the reason why. And I'm sure you've forgotten this, but you used to be quite the rhyme player yourself. Huh? You were involved in an accident while you were playing the game, and that's probably the point at which you lost your memories. In order to keep your mind stable and to prevent your powers from destroying everything around you, I made a drug for you. But the medicine isn't working as well as it used to. My guess is you can only suppress powers like yours for so long. I was playing a game of rhyme? When I went and lost my memories? Listen to me, Alba. The root of scrap is destruction. So, it's meant to kill. But depending on how you control the power, that wouldn't be all it's good for. Eventually, you're going to have to face yourself and figure out how to keep control of it. I don't know. That's a whole lot at once. Why in the hell do I have this power in the first place? I mean, why me and no one else I know? Alba... The reason for that is... Uh, sorry. Alba. Virus. Listen, man. This is an emergency. You got a whole bunch of cops bearing down on your house. Huh? But why? Beats me. The only thing that makes them go faster than this is donuts. Just find a way to make yourself scarce. We're dealing with the police ourselves. Just get undercover for now. I'll call you again if something goes down. Right. Just take care of yourself out there. Huh? Is this a real pass to Platinum Jail? I'll be heading out to Platinum Jail pretty soon. Actually, I gotta go now. You're what? Give me a sec, I'm coming with you, okay? Sorry, man. Gotta bounce. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Huh? Get your ass out here, terrorist boy! These are the charges! Unlawful entry! Destruction of property! And anything else I care to think of! You wanna live this evening? Red, I need you, buddy. Come out quietly! Come out now, you punk! We're coming in if you don't come out! Please Grandma, you get out of here! Way. All right, here we come! <laughs> Grandma, I'm sorry. You got police ahead of you, Baba. You might want to parkour into the north. Right. Thanks, Ren. Okay, okay. You're not crying. 
Fair enough? Huh? Don't lose, Alba. When you're lonely or sad, promise yourself you won't lose. Call Jungkook. Both you and me, we have to get stronger if we're gonna protect my mom and your grandma, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Huh? Don't you lose either, Coach Koo, okay? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> You were really gonna go there by yourself? Yeah, well, I ran into trouble, and I didn't want to bother you with it, okay? Don't give me that BS. You and I are practically brothers, Alba. I've always got your back, you know that. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine. Let's go. Yeah. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Welcome to Japan's largest and finest amusement facility for love, dreams, and healing a weary body, mind, and soul, Platinum Jail! But only the Chosen can enter this facility. It's heaven on earth. Did you gentlemen remember your invitations? It's right here. You got one of those invitations too? Well then, please enjoy all we have to share to your heart's content. <laughs> now that's suspicious as hell. No kidding. Go on, go on, have the time of your lives! Hmm. Platinum Jail? Now this is what I call posh. I'd heard rumors, but they really pulled out all the stops on this. Why don't we look around and get some information first? Huh? Please stand by for a satellite feed from Over Tower. Please watch this message from the director of Toei Concern. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Platinum Jail. Damn, it's Toei. Thanks in part to my wish to make you all truly happy, Platinum Jail is having a 10th anniversary spectacular. Now join us for a special celebration of the world of luxury, carefree life, and happiness that has become Platinum Jail. <laughs> Take a look at that happiness as it's unfolding today. about the data analysis. You handle it. Yes, sir. Are you doing all right, Kojaku? Damn it, that bastard Toei really did me in with that light show of his. Drug. I was hit by what? Oh, by the way, 
How's Mizuki doing? It's okay. I thought maybe you guys were closer than that. How do you know what I do about Mizuki? I'm a tattoo artist like he is. The two of us are fans of each other's work. Are they gorgeous or what? They're all original work. I actually saw you when I spent some time hanging around the old residential district a while back. I knew the moment I saw you. Alba, you're really special, you know that? <clears throat> you're hiding something deep inside of you. Once I'm done putting my flower on your back, I wonder how it's going to bloom as it drinks in your life force. I must know. Skin isn't as smooth as you might think it is. Every time the needle penetrates, it creates an unexpected flower. I'm just here to cultivate the seedlings. The skin is the soil that makes everything bloom. Passion, emotion, and fire are the nutrients. That's why it's absolutely necessary for me to thrust my inking needle with all of my soul into your skin. <laughs> right here where it's uneven. It's almost screaming to be reshaped. <laughs> Knock it off, Kojiku. Look who showed Thank up. God. Your little creep. Let him go. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I really don't know who you are. But I'm guessing the two of you are already pretty close, aren't you? Don't even act like you've forgotten. It was because of what you did, I... <clears throat> and if you know me, you know I was messing around. What's going on, Kojiku? It's been a while, right? My greatest incomplete masterpiece. <sighs> Shut your mouth, you little punk! Don't you even think of it! So you're telling me he's a real precious friend? So, Alma, how much do you really know about your good friend, Kojiku? Don't say it! I'm betting he hasn't told you a damn thing yet. What you did to your mother, I'd be ashamed too. Shut your mouth! <laughs> Tattoos are... My flowers are growing strong. A little more and they'll finish becoming a part of you. A tattoo responds to a person's karma. And it's a way to bind you to who you really are. The angrier you get, the more you water my flower and the more its rosy thorns will consume your heart. Damn it! Cut me. After all, you're nothing but a mother-killing maniac. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> it's finally complete! With your rationality and my tenacity, I knew how to get way under your skin. Kojaku! Come on, Kochaku, knock it off! Get a hold of yourself! You've only got one way. You know how to stop him. I know how to stop him? It's inside you, you scrap Alba. Scrap. Save him this time. Gojaku, I, I have, have to, to go, go inside you now. Ugh. <laughs> 
It's his mother. Come on, buddy. Damn it, my hands. Damn it all. Come on, man, wake up. He's my masterpiece, little man. He's not your property, you goddamn freak. Just let him go already. No sense. I fed this winning work of ours. Wake up. Snap out of it, okay? When I came to, I was too late to stop what happened that day. Alba, I'm sure you didn't know this, but my family is... Thank you for making the trip all the way out here. We've been waiting for you. My father's wife couldn't conceive children. My mother was his mistress, and he called us to the mainland from the island. Something about needing an heir. Nothing that we really had a part in. This tattoo supposedly made me the head of my family. Ryuho was glad to force it on me, of course, under my father's orders. I didn't want my mother to suffer if I said no, or I don't want it. I just had to deal with it. It happened the day they said they were going to finish the tattoo. The pain of it all was becoming absolutely unbearable. I finally passed out before Ryuho finished working on me. And then, I was awake again. I was surrounded by a sea of blood. And then I saw it. My mother had fallen all to my blade. Kojuku. When I finally got back to my senses, I tried to kill myself, but I just couldn't do it. It's hard to forget that little boy smile of yours back when I told you to win. But this time, I couldn't stop the tears. The weight of all this was crushing me with despair. I really wanted my life to be over, Alba. But you inspired me to live just as much. I just didn't know what to do anymore. So I ended up going back to the island where I knew you were. I was hoping things would be okay if I saw you. But it just didn't happen. I really just want to be over this mess. When I drop my guard, it all comes flooding back. The one day in my life. That bloody day. And killing Ryuho didn't solve anything. So now, I... Don't do it. You might think it's the right thing to do. But think of everyone you'd leave. The Benny Sugar Ray need you. And I need you too, you selfish bitch. <sighs> all right. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Live with those tattoos for the rest of your life, for one thing. Here's the only thing that's important. All of us know who you really are, and we know you're not evil. Your sin might have given you an incredible weight to bear on your shoulders. The man I know called Kojuku wouldn't just walk away from that responsibility. How about... If you ever feel like you're getting lost again, Kojuku, I'll keep on saying it. I'll remind you of who you really are, and that the real Kojuku doesn't quit, and that I will always believe in him, and that's a fact. You told me not to ever lose, okay? So promise me you're not going to lose to your tattoos and your past. <sighs> Kojuku, I'm going to have to take out a little piece of your mind, and I'm going to have to destroy the part of you that's bound to your past. Get ready. Turned out successfully. 
Let Mr. Toei know about it. Field test my ass. This appears to be the hotel. Are you alright? Was I really sleeping? Just go back to sleep. You need to get some rest yourself. I'm sorry, man. For getting you involved. <laughs> that goes for both of us. <laughs> What's so funny, man? Nothing. You know, we're a lot alike, really. Like the way we fall apart when we're trying to fix something about ourselves. I guess you're really right about that. <sighs> huh? You were so tiny back then. And now you've gone and grown up on me. Hey, I had to sometime. But you haven't changed a bit. Well, damn. That's rude saying I didn't grow up, man. Oh, give me a break. Think of all the jams you pulled me out of back then. You're seriously my hero, dude. <laughs> hero? Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Nothing's changed. Not one bit. <laughs> you do know the truth, don't you? Know that truth for what it is? If you acknowledge it, you'll feel better. And everything will work out fine. So acknowledge it. Acknowledge it and accept it. That'll make everything much easier for now. You realize that, don't you? Huh? Ren? Sweet, huh? I got one of these. 
It's right here. I could have hacked my way in if I wanted to, but, you know. Pleasure, happiness, and enjoyment. They just don't have the power that feelings like resentment and hate have. That power binds them to places in the human heart where they grow and multiply. Ryuho's tattoo seemed to have worked in some fashion on him. They may not have awakened his true power just yet, but close. I'm betting if we put him in situations where he's fearing for his or another's life, he will wake up. To that end, to develop him, we should probably keep on growing those emotions in him and see what we get. So tell me, what did he do to you anyway? It seems as if he gave me an overhaul, found an undetected worm, and got rid of it. You really had a virus? That's not good. Great, I feel like a jerk now, but he should have told me first. <clears throat> it's morning, but nothing's changed since last night. Is it always like this in this place? Hey, it's fresh, if you want it. <laughs> hey, look, I was kind of a jerk about things yesterday. Ren said you actually cleaned a virus off of him. Sorry, man. I didn't give you a chance. Whatever. No. What? You need to go ahead and cool your hand off right away. It has to be burned now, right? Take off the bandage already! Where did you get those from? Uh. Oh, by the way... Thank you for Ren. Well, fixing your dog just kind of happened. If you have to know, I had a personal interest in your allmate here. Interest? I wanted to find out if your allmate was what let you beat me in the game. And I saw the virus and got rid of it. And I really didn't have a motivation beyond that. That's all. You know, you're way too nice. Or maybe you're going to try holding all these favors over my head. What favors? Uh hey. Let's go eat. Huh? Hey, where are you going? Shopping. Hey, I wasn't finished with your hand, you know. <laughs> hey! Not this, William. <laughs> You're still buying stuff? Money's not a problem with me, dude. What do you mean? You've got to have a hell of a job to afford this. I'm a rhyme information mole. You'd be surprised how much money people will pay to find out where Usui's gonna show up on the streets. Me and Rough Rabbit turn a pretty tidy profit on the information. Oh. So, Noise, what do you know about me and rhyme, anyway? Hmm? So tell me. You really don't have any memories of playing the game? Yeah. I'm sorry. Huh. Huh. I think you need to apologize. Anyway, it's not like I believe it when you say it. What is this thing? What? You just bought it a minute ago. Yeah, I know. But what do you call it? You're joking, right? I'm not joking at all. Now tell me. Takoyaki. And this is? It's a crepe. And those? They're donuts, man. They look different from what I had at your house. Not all donuts are round, Noise. If you don't know these foods, what exactly are you eating all the time, huh? I usually have pizza or pasta, okay? And what else? I've had that for 19 years. Oh, man. Pizza for 19 years? What? You're actually younger than I am? There shouldn't be a problem with that. <laughs> Come on, Noise. We don't need to make a scene here. Let's run. <gasps> noise, don't. Damn it. 
Hold up! all that much. No matter what, it doesn't hurt me. I really don't feel pain. All my senses are dull except taste. I can sort of feel when I'm touched. But I might as well be wearing two rubber scuba diving suits. Hold on just a minute. We gotta take care of those cuts. Hands off. It'll heal by itself if you let it. <clears throat> Look, dumbass. You're gonna bleed to death. Either that, or you'll get infected. You can't just let it bleed. Are you trying to get yourself killed, huh? You're obviously hurt. We're being watched. Huh? Hey, wait! Uh. Hey! What for? 
the world will always abandon me. world feels like to you? You know, 
It doesn't hurt that you actually look your age now, you know? <laughs> I guess I understand what you were getting at a little while ago. Huh? When someone you know is dealing with pain, you want to help. You were trying to tell me that, weren't you? Yeah. I guess I didn't understand that before, because I didn't have pain of my own to feel. there. Are you all right? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Bastards won't give up. <laughs> Clear. Master, no! 
That's all. Depressing? You mean sad? Yeah, a little. Huh. Hey, you know, it might be your jellyfish song, but I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, Master. That's really great. All right. Let's check out the Overtower. Right. Let's get started. Huh? I'll lead the way, Master.
found you. Nice to meet you, my brother. <laughs> What's going on here? Come on. You know who we are, brother. Clear. Who are they? Master, please stay back. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Apparently our brother has gone and gotten himself a master now. Whatever. We entered a master Toei, brother. Who is that guy? Toei? Shut up! Master is my only master, got it? <laughs> the poor bastard really is broken, isn't he? We really need to collect this wretched refuse and get rid of it. And that's what our master said. Wait, clear! <laughs> Stop it! Stay back! Uh oh. You forgot about that, didn't you? Guess you forgot about the failsafe mechanism that won't let us attack our superiors or each other. Except for us, of course. Our failsafes have been disabled, so we can take out the garbage. That's what our master can do. <laughs> you be dumber than that? You were obviously defective from the moment of your creation. Someone was supposed to get rid of you as soon as it happened. But someone with really poor taste decided to pity you and run off with you instead. <laughs> and you lived together until he died, right? So, was it fun acting like a man? <laughs> Idiot! You know what's going to happen if you try and fight me, don't you? No, clear! No! Stay away, Master! <clears throat> what do you say we die, the human brother? Sounds good to me, brother. Don't even think of it! <laughs> <laughs> gone and violated your failsafe, and I'm betting your auto repair is offline. If he wasn't a pile of garbage before, all these pieces are just gonna fall off. Clear! No, Master, don't! You've gotta leave! We're both going! <laughs> are you alright, Master? I should be asking you that. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to lie to you. I didn't really remember until we ran into the two of them just now. But all three of us are exactly identical. We are the same, and yet I am different from my brothers. The reason I think of you as my master is because of your vocal power. Like you, my original master has the power to control people with his voice. Toei too? He actually tests the results of his own experiments on his body. That is messed up, dude. Back then... I didn't have any doubts about who I was or what I should have been. I didn't have a lot of time with you and my grandpa, but I was happy. I didn't have any doubts. <laughs> and I didn't have any reason to either. Because I forgot. Please believe me, Master. The idea of protecting you is not something that I just made up. Of course I do. I believe every word. a cold. Okay. <laughs> Took you long no. enough to get here. What a waste. I guess it had to happen because you betrayed us. Acting like you're a human being. When we're all simply mechanisms. You're right. <gasps> all three of us are just machines. And this charade is meant to control human beings. You want to put me down because of what I think I am. And that's a shame. Not for me, for you. Well, I might be broken, but I really feel bad for you. All three of us.
of us are human automatons. But only I've experienced the joys of human fellowship. You two are pretty sad. Whatever. Seriously, brother, what in the world are you talking about? I'm saying I want to be a human being! <laughs> <laughs> the poor fool's gone completely mad, brother. I have a will of my own. That's right. This man is my master because I chose him to be. Don't forget about Master Toei. He doesn't have anything wrong with him. You want to call this blithering idiot your master? You've got to be completely defective. You better stop being mean to him. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. I want to be. I want to live my life as a human. Master showed me so many wonderful things in this world. No, clear. It will be fine. I'm just going to protect you, Master. <laughs> All your parts are gonna fall off. Believe in me, Master, okay? The first decision I ever made on my own was the one I made to protect you, and I'm going to keep my promise. We told you, and now you're simply annoying us. <laughs> so please, let me do this. <laughs> oh my god!
Your voice has the ability to draw people to you. You can destroy that person's unconscious mind and their total being. I really wanted my life to be over, Alba. But you inspired me to live just as much. But it just didn't happen. But when I drop my guard, it all comes flooding back. The one day in my life. That bloody day. And killing Ryuho didn't solve anything. So now, I... A world where you can't feel anything is lonely. You don't know what anyone else is feeling. Who'd give a damn if I died out there? No family, friends, or anyone else to worry about me. The first decision I ever made on my own was the one I made to protect you, and I'm going to keep my promise. <laughs> so please, let me do this. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what are you spacing out about? So how's clear? I got some patchwork done. We're still gonna have to find a shop or something to get it running right. Thanks for that. Not sure when. <clears throat> Every one of us got an invitation here. They laid a trap for us. It started with that guy Ryuho, those morphine guys, Don't forget and the two guys who looked just like Clear. He doesn't have anything wrong with him. You knew they were after you. I still don't know why you guys got invitations. Toy wants something with me, I get that. And because of me, you're all involved in this. Because we wanted to be, hmm? Kojaku, are you okay now? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Still clearing the cobwebs out. How's Clear doing? It was a mess in there, but I really can't do a whole lot more in this amusement park. All right. So anyway, I don't deny that Toei is after you, but still. But what? There's gotta be something else. Mm -mm. Attacked us. I told you to stop! All those guys, they all just stopped. Like they were somehow obeying every word you were saying to them. Well, yeah. And then, I heard a voice in my head telling me you were going to come inside. <laughs> and then you were there. Yeah, well, that was me using my scrap power on you. That's how it's supposed to work. You have the ability to project your mind and consciousness into the minds of others when you want to. We referred to that power as Scrap back when I worked at the lab. Scrap? Yeah. If I really feel like doing it, I can go inside someone's head and make them do anything that I want. All I have to do to learn everything about someone is force my own thought stream into their unconscious mind at any time. So that's what you were doing. Yeah. I didn't know how to control my power when I wound up mind to mind with Mizuki. And then... <laughs> and then all of us got the invites to come here. Toei's been sending guys after us without a break. And that means he's trying or succeeding at brainwashing people. And what's worse, he's probably recruiting me to do it. You remember, don't you, Kojaku? It was part of the fireworks and light show. And Clear knew about the effects of the die music. He sings it. And I went inside noise after Toei got control of him. And there's that anniversary event coming up. Toei's gonna use it to brainwash everyone he hasn't gotten to yet. I want to do everything I can to keep that from happening. Yeah. But I'm the one Toei wants, not you guys. I can't ask you to put yourselves in danger for me like that. <laughs> it's not like you were the only one who got invited. Okay. But still, that does worry me. We're ready, sir. Yes. The time has come for the people of this island to move under my command. I'm overjoyed. How about you? Yes, sir. Midori Jima's only the start, you know. 
After the island, it'll be time to extend our sphere of influence to Japan and then the world itself. Can't you just see it happening, Takahashi? You're not sure? Just remember this for future reference. In order to win your battles, you have to be able to conceive of the victories and how they're won ahead of time. Yes, indeed, the goddess of battles is smiling on me today. We're going to give the entire world a facelift, Takahashi. However, we're going to need Alba Saragaki to be the surgeon. Enough is enough. I can't let this happen to someone else. We've got two more days until this thing kicks off. What do I do? What's he want? You still owe me a debt, Saragaki. Uh Bring the dog and no one else. Uh hmm. supposed to be? The Overtower uses assault weapon class specialized all mates to keep people like us out. That's a worm, not the kind of vet can fix either. We get to the tower, you plug your all mate into the network, and bye bye big guns. What's it gonna do to Ren when I put this inside him? Dunno. What the hell is that supposed to mean? If this thing kills all mates, why would I put it in Ren? Nice try, Ace. Now take it back. He's a machine, you idiot. A frickin' toy. He breaks, you go to the shop and get another one. He's not a toy, you stupid musclehead. We take care of each other, got it? Fine, so you don't want to break it. It's still a machine. They don't eat, mess the house, and they're damn easy to replace. Hey, maybe you treat that bird of yours like a toy. But I would never do that to Ren. I might understand if he was a real dog. Remember, you still owe me. You better make the right decision. No way! <laughs> Hey, what's your bro- Right now, you're my problem. Got it? I could keep on doing this all night, but I get the feeling you can't. Go ahead and use it, Alba. It's fine. Yeah, but you might catch a virus I can't get rid of. I don't want that. You'll fix me if it happens, right, Alba? But, Ren... Of course you will. All right. Let's find out where I can put this. Upload confirmed. Are you good? Certainly. Thanks for asking. All right. See? Uh, I got him. What do you want me to do with him? Got it. Uh, Let's go. Yeah, right. What 
Tower's system control room. The light drugs, die music, uh, toys, goons run it all from here. How do you know about all that? And I know what he's planning for his anniversary shindig. What? Go ahead and hook your dog up. I'm plugging you in, Ren. Understood. saying anything. Playtime. Now I get to see what's in that brain of yours. Mink! 
away. Now wait. It's not like they'd be here. The hell's going on? Uh, that strong aroma. I've heard that your people practice a secret art that uses smell to influence the minds of others. That's interesting. I would really love to study that art. You're not giving me much choice. You really ought to reconsider your choice. That's too bad then. Revenge. I guess I would too. Hey, Mink. Are you here? Mink! Damn it. Mink! Come on, man. Say something already. But 
Why? I changed my mind. You just stay here. Huh? No way! I'm coming! You need me in there! Do what you want. Advantages. So you were lying. 
Not about being your biggest devotees and followers, we didn't. Oh yeah, that's the face I'm looking for. That's just like when you were the undisputed king of the rhyme, buddy boy. Absolutely. We didn't know anything about your voice powers, either. I tell you what, though. It was a thing of beauty when you smoked someone with scrap. Instant brain smash, buddy. We knew you were going to be the greatest rhyme head there ever was. Hold on just a second. Did I hurt someone? Damn, I keep forgetting your forgetfulness, I guess. For what it's worth, Alba, you didn't know you could do anything like that either. Do you know how hard things would be if word of your power just got out on the streets like that? We made sure you forgot about your little unfortunate incident and played with the publicity a little. <laughs> Instead of an accident and rhyme, we said it was a street fight and your badassery that made him a vegetable. And wouldn't you know it, the boys at Toei Concern were already mind control experts. And your grandma worked for them. We needed you to keep this secret, especially from Toei. Otherwise, you'd be in a different kind of hospital. Lucky for us, even if she didn't know, all of us wanted to keep your power a secret. Nothing like plausible deniability, if you ask me. But on top of that, someone remembered you bad enough to force you to play again. Toei finds out your secret, and suddenly you're in demand again. Be thankful. We're trying to keep him from snagging you. <laughs> Besides, if you decide to come with us, you'll finally get to meet Say. Say? That's right. You didn't know. You've got a twin brother, and he wants to meet you. We're ready to go, boss. Whenever you want. <sighs> Say? That's right, you didn't know. You've got a twin brother, and he wants to meet you. <clears throat> I suppose you guys were really introduced to each other, now that I think about it. Alba and Say were the Toei Concerns attempted making babies to order about 20 or so years ago. It's a simple idea, really. Manipulate DNA from an egg and sperm, and if you do it right, kids with powers. By the way, the best of the gene splicers was someone we all know and love, but you call Grandma. It was her research. <laughs> To be fair, the guys at Toei really didn't tell her that her research was going to be used to make super kids from scratch. Misinformation is an art form, you know. Toei had been researching all the senses as a method of winning hearts and minds without the messy business of actually being a politician with a conscience. So, with a little splicing, you and Say developed the power to do it with your voice and your eyes. However, your hair is the actual conduit. You're technically conjoined twins. At the hair, anyway. Here's the strange part. Both you and Say were stillborn, and the docs couldn't get you breathing. So there you were, and they pretty much didn't care. <laughs> Your grandma decided to take a little pity on you, Alba. Anyway, it seems like she felt a little guilty about you dying. So she took you away, all the way back to the island. But when she cut you loose, your heart and lungs started working. Say got lucky too, but he wound up being raised in the grounds of the Toei Concern Lab where the doctors have spent the last 20 years figuring out how to leverage his scrap power. <laughs> his power actually works a lot like yours does, but instead of using his voice, Say uses his eyes to send subliminal visuals. Most people aren't even aware of what they're seeing. His eyes do that? Platinum Jail is pleased to celebrate its 10th anniversary with all of its guests. Our 10th anniversary gala will feature some of the finest hospitality we can offer. We have a small sample of that show available to you today. Thank you for joining us. We're happy to have you. However, Say is completely worn out. And that's the reason he had her kidnapped a while ago. To see if she could find a way to make his power work again. But Toei isn't the kind of guy who just sits around on his laurels. His scientists found a way to do artificially what Say's eyes were doing naturally, and that's it. Backup plans are good if people break, you know? The event, if we can really call it that, is probably going to be Say's curtain call as Toei's mind manipulator. What do you mean? I just told you, the poor boy is already at his limit. I need the power in your voice to shatter me. So that's what he meant. Imagine what kind of bind we might have been in otherwise without him. But it's all good, now that we have you. You've lost your mind. Don't you realize what that psychopath's planning? Naturally. Of course we do. We always did. Then tell me, what in the hell are you working with Toei for? Do I need to spell it out? I guess it all comes down to one thing. The thing is, we like to stay stimulated. 
anything that's interesting, amazing and easy. Absolutely. You're not going to get us interested in the Toei's plot against humanity angle. We're here because Sei's amazing. And if you're in the Yakuza, siding up with Toei is easier than easy. And that's all there is to it. Most definitely. You even realize what's going on here. Maybe you're being mind controlled and don't even know about it. Okay, let me fill you in on why that's not going to happen to us. Modified hearing and eyesight, got it? So, you can huff and puff with your little voice powers and not knock our brains down. <clears throat> so what do you think we should do? I say, game on, Virus. Okay, Alpha. <clears throat> why don't you indulge us in a little game time? Yeah. Side of him. Careful. Huh? We need to bug out. Wait, Mink! Huh? Because I need you to break me with your vocal power. Alba! Look, I'm sorry, okay? There's something I'm going to have to do while I'm still here. Just tell me Toei isn't playing with your head. No. They're in here. Huh? See, that isn't working, sir! Tear it up, damn it! I can hold him back a little. Uh, you guys need to find a way out of here. Hmm? Uh, Alba, just make sure you come back, all right? Go handle your business. We've got this. You go ahead and take care of what you need to, Alba. Yeah, we'll take care of the light work. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Go! <laughs> Dumbasses running into a hailstorm of bullets. Bring it! Is that all you got? You're not gonna stop Alvin! These losers just keep on coming at us. Hey. He's acting like a dog! Just shoot it! Hey, Mink! It's this way. I've been waiting for you, Alba. And who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. How could I not remember you? All your people ever had to do was cooperate with me and teach my scientists about your secret ceremonies. The whole thing was such an incredible waste, you know? A little cooperation could have saved a lot of lives. Funny you should mention that. <clears throat> Wait right there. You're expecting to kill me and then die afterwards, yes? Listen, I'm telling you, you can't do that. <gasps> Why don't you just stay there? <gasps> Whoa, Mink! Too bad for you, I'm afraid. Alba and I actually have the same vocal mind control power. Of course, I needed a little technological booster in my case. <gasps> Mink? <gasps> Mink, come on! I'm afraid hey, I've already won hey. this game, gentlemen. Come on, man! Mink! I don't think so. You can't even kill yourself. 
Of course, killing me is out of the question. You're alive, yet dead. Come on! You just have to be beside yourself right now. Your impotence is delicious. Mink! Mink! That's a pretty neat trick. Mink? I don't understand this. It was supposed to work. Oh, it worked all right. You said the right thing, and I did what you said. Everything got dark, and I felt the despair anyone would when their body doesn't work. I really hope you get to feel it. Jackass! Since we're talking about impotence, somebody already staked a claim in my brain. What did you tell him? <gasps> I'm guessing my little friend doesn't even remember what he said. I should let you figure it out yourself. There are things that a selfish bastard like you would never say, and of course it just helps that his power is a hell of a lot stronger than yours. <laughs> All right, then. You want to know what this little friend of mine told me, Cyclops? He told me to survive. Hey, Mink. Don't die. Just live. <gasps> his words had purity, eloquence, and they sure meant a lot more to me than yours. He's not like you. His words and his power are genuine. Uh, oh, man. And by the way, it's time to die. Hold it, Mink. I know this is probably bad form and all, but I wasn't ready to die just yet, all right? You're going to have to try a little harder, big man. It's time for you to go. Now wait. Damn it, just leave. Uh, I'm sorry, Alba. I shouldn't have involved you in this. Really? Stop, Mink! Ren! But then, you picked up the body of a discarded Allmate. 
That moment was my chance. You registered the Olmate, and I took that opportunity to merge my consciousness into its circuitry using the individual recognition chip. I became your Olmate, and you became my owner. It was strange at first, but I found that being an Olmate actually gave me a physical manifestation for communicating with you. From then on, I stayed by your side as the Olmate Ren. But then, your morphine friends altered your memories, and I forgot I was inside you after the Rhyme accident. However, the Trojan horse that you put inside me might have been what made me remember. It was probably self-correction on my part in the face of another trauma. But that's not all. It seems to have awakened feelings inside of me that I shouldn't really be having. What do you mean by that, Ren? I had become aware that I was one of the older all-made types. I started having negative feelings, self-hate, inferiority. I saw all the features the newer models had. I actually became jealous and desired some of those same traits. I began to worry that I was going to wind up in a trash heap again if you wanted a newer model. I shouldn't have thought that. It might be okay for an all-mate to feel those things, but not me. I actually became worried about not being with you anymore. The act of moving outside of you became painful. I had become something more than a piece of you, but I felt like less than an entity that I should call me. I don't think that I can stay with you. I have to go away now, Alba. I have to leave. You've made me understand the changes in you. But I don't want you to go anywhere. You don't just leave when things get hard for you. If you were inside me, you ought to know I'd never give up. There's nothing in the world that make me just get another Olme. I picked you up off that trash heap for a reason, Ren. You're precious. <laughs> you may not see it, Ren. But I can't see anything else at all. My heart and soul is in you. You better not run away from me. I'll always find the parts and you should already know that. I'm not really sure about what's going on with your own feelings. But it can't be that bad, can it? It might. The purpose of the superego is to balance the desires of the id. However, the process of leaving your body gave me feelings of my own to wrestle with. Returning to your body, adding my new feelings to yours, may corrupt you. I should go. Don't talk like that. You don't have the right. You said you were a part of me. And that means I've got to say in whether I want you to go or not, you got it? Only I would disappear. Your all-mate would still be functional. That's enough, goddammit! I need you, Ren, not a dog! Do you get it now? I appreciate what you're saying, Alba. However... <laughs> I'll keep saying it. I don't want you to disappear or go anywhere. I need you, all right? Alba. So please, stay by my side. my summons. Toei? This may come off as impertinent, but there's something I need to confirm. I'll get right to the point. My concern needs your power. Are you going to try to stay out of my reach, boy? Of course I am! That's a pity, really. I'm really trying to be the perfect gentleman about it, Alba. But since you're not leaving me with a choice here, we'll have a little rhyme battle. You like it? I have this level designed especially with you in mind. Rhymefield release. <laughs> Alba, be careful. He's disengaged the safety protocols. The rules are simple. I win, you come to work for me. Your precious feelings be damned. <laughs> Alba, Uthui is Toy's all mate. See anyone you recognize, Alba? Say, 
Your brother was a good model for my old mate. He, on the other hand, was raised in the lab and never left these four walls. Still, he wanted to find a way to set his consciousness free, so he ended up making copies. Now that's ambitious. And his copies have been on our network ever since. And of course, that means when he found you, so did I. It means I get to face the power I had given up on owning. Of course, you're still ignorant of how much power you really have. Destroy! That's why I helped you wake it up, Alba. And why you attacked all of my friends? The ability to destroy is your birthright. To be a bringer of death! No! That's not all it does! You don't get it, do you? I can set people free with my abilities! <laughs> Jubilation set red! Roger. minds after I've won from them here. And of course, there's a hell of a land grab that goes along with it. And Platinum Jail is just the beginning. There's an entire country to be had, my boy. Mitorijima first, Japan next. And what do you call playing with people's heads like this, Toei? Reasonable. <clears throat> Are you insane, bastard? Of course I'm not insane. A sociopathic dictator would simply kill everyone who defied him. But doing things my way... People are obeying me before they're even wise to it. Absolute bliss, which is what they want. You can't gain happiness by sacrificing your free will. Then let's go ahead and find out how strong your will is. You think you can control my mind? Let's just see what you've got, Mr. Seragaki. <laughs> Nice of you. Hearing you say that makes me really happy, Alba. However, 
I probably wouldn't last very long because of my heart. Thanks anyway. Ren, you've protected Alba all this time, haven't you? Thank you, Ren. But Alba, I'd like you to accept him as well. Accept? Who are you talking about? Alba, you're the ego. Ren is your restraint. Your id happens to be. <clears throat> Ren protected you from him so your desires wouldn't destroy you. But he isn't your enemy, and he's not a villain. And believe me when I say this, the last thing in the world he would ever want to do is destroy you, because you need each other. You can see for yourself. <clears throat> Ren told you his wish, and you accepted it. <clears throat> you might want to do the same for him, since he's part of you. I think you should let him breathe a little. I'm sure everything will be fine from now on. Uh, uh, say, your body! It's starting now. I'm afraid I'll need to take care of this on my own. This might sound a little strange, but I never hated Mr. Toy. Huh? In a way, I have to bear some responsibility for what he achieved. And since there are dozens of copies of me on his net, destroying it should be pretty easy. Go ahead now. Finish it for me. Give me my freedom. <clears throat> no! <clears throat> Alva, grant me my wish. Put me out of my misery, please. Use your power. Let me take my leave of this place. <clears throat> I'm running out of time. <clears throat> That will really be the thing that saves you, Say. It will. Say, my brother, are you ready? I'm glad I had the chance to meet you and talk to you, my brother. Thank you so much. my scrap power again. What we did to Mizuki was disgusting. Exposing what's in people's minds and then breaking them? We might as well have been killing them right then and there. Having a power like that just plain frightened the living hell out of me. That's why I had such a hard time accepting you. However, you're actually part of me. Were you just trying to assert yourself? Or let me know you were here all along? But every time you try to say something... I could only hear anger and aggression from you. But know that I know better. I won't run. Both of us are the same. One third of a man can't live, and I need you inside me. Then, now, and always. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you, too. Alba, our 
you all right? Are you okay? Come on. I'll give you a hand up. Kojaku. Clear. Hey, Alba. <laughs> Noise. Is it over? Yeah, it's over. Welcome home, Ren. <laughs> 